So despite the ongoing state of emergency in six parishes, car thefts have climbed by 32%, I'm told. So here with a few tips to help secure your vehicles is General Manager of Amber Solutions, Mr. Brian Tullo. Morning, sir. Morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Um, before we go to the tips, tell me about Amber Solutions. Amber Solutions is a Jamaican company started in vehicle tracking, telematics, fleet management. Um, we've grown tremendously in our four years, over 10,000 vehicles under management, and we have gone internationally as well. So we are in South Africa, India, America, Puerto Rico, the ABC Islands. So okay. it's, it's a good product, and we, we are proud of what we're able to build here and export. When you say 10,000 vehicles under management, what does that mean? Meaning up, we have over 10,000 vehicles that our trackers installed. So it's a vehicle tracking company primarily. So over 10,000 vehicles have our trackers on the road now. And what does a tracker do? Well, anything you want to know where your vehicle is, our tracker will show you live tracking. Show you where your vehicle is, you can remotely shut down the vehicle. We can, all the trips you carry out on the road, it gives you that. You can get alerts, real-time alerts. So when your car gets turned on, turned off, you're speeding, harsh cornering, all of those notifications are tracked by the vehicle and reported to you by an app on your phone. Okay. All right. Um, that was number four, you know. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but yes. since we started there. Yes. Um, so when you say shut down the vehicle, so if, if someone, if I come out and I don't see my car. Correct. I just go. Right. So right away you can see where your vehicle is just because you have live tracking. You press a button, put in your password, it immobilizes the vehicle. Once it's below 20 kilometers as a safety measure, the vehicle will cut power, stop wherever it is. You can send the police, you can go yourself. We also have partnerships with multiple security firms. So if you want, you can actually send an alert to them and they will go. Yeah, and, and you say below 20 kilometers, you don't want to shut it down when you go on the Exactly, the exactly, the exactly. The so the minute stuff. though, it, so once you initiate that shutdown command, it sends it to the vehicle and the minute it goes below 20, that's it. Uh, and a lot of folks in Jamaica use that? Oh, yes, it's very popular. And have you found that we, we have found our cars because of this? And, oh, and certainly. In, in Amber's experience, we recover 90 plus percent of our vehicles. Those that are not, simply because they don't use the app the way it's supposed to. You have the power in your app. As I say, you can shut it down. You can arm the vehicle. We have artificial intelligence in that app that allows you to arm the vehicle, go to bed, and if anybody turns on a vehicle, tampers with the device, tows the vehicle, you get an alarm on your phone and it automatically shuts down. So we say we teach a car Kung Fu, <laughs> basically. And that happens, and so that's a preventative measure yeah, rather and, than and, reactive. And how um, tough or how easy it is to install that in the car? Well, we have a set of trained in installers and we do our best to hide the device as best we can. Right. Of course, the thieves themselves are also professional. So, you know, but we do our best to hide the vehicle, the devices, plus the alerts are there also to even indicate when the device is being tampered with. Okay. So even then, you still have exactly. alerts to, to All right. react. All right, so let's go back to the top. Park intelligently. Basic. Well-lit areas, not isolated, somewhere safe. Parked in a garage if you have it, you know. Um, also, some as basic as turning your wheel when you park against a curb so that they can't tow it. It makes it a little harder for you to tow. Just basic. Principle. Oh, I saw that and I was wondering why I almost turned my wheel. Right, so it prevents the towing. If somebody tries to tow it, it makes it a little difficult for them to tow your vehicle. Okay. Um, secure your vehicle. Lock secure, your right. So lock your windows, your doors, your sunroof, right? You, you take those things for granted. You crack it because it's hot inside. You have to be mindful. You crack it, but make sure you're closed. Secure your keys as well. Don't leave them carelessly or valuables. Valuables in the car attract people. So don't leave valuables um, yeah. exposed. Install an anti-theft device, which is the same well, thing we're talking about. Well, yeah, different. there's a more high-tech, the, oh, the tracker is a more high-tech, but the basic, um, and a car alarm, an immobilizer. You remember the club? Yeah. That, right, the club. And put on the, on steering the steering wheel. Granted, yes, yeah, right. I mean, granted, yeah, they cut. still use that? Not anymore, because they cut the steering and you lift it off, you know, but you have a brake lock. But something, the idea is to not make it easy for the thief. When you say talk to the car, what does that mean? Oh, well, that's the tracker that we put in allows you to hear what's going on in the car. So you can dial a number, activates a call inside the car, you can hear it and speak. So somebody sitting in the car says, listen, this is the Lord thy God, please put back my car. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But seriously, you, you, you can know, have a Sheffield, conversation. Sheffield is a man who is a thief, I'm not a road with him here. That's a feeling yeah, that man, certainly that should spark some kind of, you know. <laughs> but you, you put that kind of thing on it? It's yeah, one of our devices allows you to, do, to have that kind of access. So you can call in, 
and the, the person in the car doesn't know, so you can listen. So what happens is, once you tamper with the device and it initiates the call quietly, you can actually hear what the thief is doing. So he might be saying, we're taking the car to X, or you know, talking to his cohort and calling him by name. Um, so you can actually hear what's going on in the car. Hey boy, you know, what are you exactly, exactly. <laughs> Safe yeah, you might Safe have a, that just park that on road. Yeah, <laughs> crash on. But that's something that's specific to some of the devices that we actually. Yeah. We want. spoke about the tracker. What we didn't speak about with the tracker is that you could get insurance disc discounts if you have a tracker. Correct. A lot of insurance companies now offer discounts. It varies in terms of the size, the amount, but they offer discounts based on the fact that you have a tracker, and we. Definitely, we, we prepare letters, we advise the insurance company that this particular vehicle is in, has a tracker, and they'll get a discount. So it, there's a financial benefit as well, yeah, right. not just securing your two, three million dollar investment, which is really the primary thing. You spend three million dollars, two million dollars, a million dollars on a car, spend a small amount on a tracker, yeah. and you, you are It okay. says take care of your car, avoid worn door, trunk locks, broken crack windows. Again, it's just basic in terms of protecting your car, don't make it easy. So. The window broken, fix it. The locks on your door and your trunk, worn, fix it. And don't make it easy for them. And again, a well-kept car is one, a car that may look on and say, more likely that car has some kind of protection on it. So let me leave it alone. So it's simple. Some of it is just practice and others are technology driven in terms of the tracker. Yeah. So, you know, those are some of the basics. I said tips. in the opening that even with the states of emergency, we are still losing. So are we... Are the thieves really out there? Yes, it's growing. And, um, it's growing? Yeah, it's growing. It, it definitely, but people are becoming more aware of, of the tracking solutions. And by extension, the thieves are going. So we kind of always have to innovate. And because we own our technology, we can adapt really quickly when we learn new technology, new ways that they're trying to steal a car. So. Finally, a double barrel question. Is there any particular area in the, in the country that they seem to steal cars more than another area? And the second part of the double barrel question is, what kind of cars are they stealing? So there's no, there's no preference as to where they steal it. What you find, though, you do have certain areas where they take the car to be chopped up. So when, you, when a car is stolen and you actually track it, you see a lot of times that it goes to specific areas. A lot of hills in the Sligoville Hills, is, you'll find that they'll carry the cars. And in terms of the type of cars, yes, they have like your Axios. Your Toyota Axios is like probably number one vehicle, your Tidas. Um, those are high in your, your pro box. So those popular cars, like the taxi type cars, you'll find, but the access by far, the number one stolen vehicle. And even some of the high end, you have, you have your um, Suzuki Vitaras. Um, the Grand Vitaras is surprisingly one of the high theft vehicles. So, you know, you should, and no vehicle is too expensive to be stolen. Just because you drive an Audi or a Mercedes, doesn't mean that it can't be stolen. Um, our tracker also allows you to, peace of mind, Really just peace of mind. Yeah. So, you know, you shouldn't just say, oh, my car is not a popular car, so it won't be stolen. And I suspect the insurance companies would know that these cars are... The high, high theft cars? Yeah, yeah. They, typically you... And then you pay more insurance. Yeah, and, and they do. They, they are the ones that will provide the information to us to say, listen, these are our top, top stolen vehicles, and therefore um, the premiums are higher. But again, if you're having a tracker, you get a discount, right. you know, so... Thanks for coming. Yeah, welcome. All right, um, General Manager Amber Solutions, Mr. Brian Toller. Still to come, we share a few of our biggest driving pet peeves. And is consumer right a myth in Jamaica? Uh, some coffee.